This week's question is, can you change IP address without VPN? My name is Steve, this is TQA Weekly. This is in response to a viewer wondering if his non-VPN, non-Tor, non-Proxly application that claims it can change its IP address is actually keeping him anonymous online. I think I need to boil this down to brass tacks for some of you. Your IP address is like your home address. When you come to do a purchase on the internet, the delivery person needs to know where you live. The same is true for your IP address. Your IP address is sent as part of the metadata to allow those web servers you're communicating with to know where to send back all the information that you are requesting. The only other way of requesting data from another web server without using your own IP address in that transaction is to use either a VPN, Tor, or a proxy. While they are not the same technology and do not achieve the same thing in the same fashion, their endpoint that you are connecting to is the IP address that those web servers will see. And the way to get the data back to you is very much like your home network where you have one connection coming in in most cases and multiple on the other side. So basically, the only way to change your IP address on the internet and get any data back is through the use of a VPN, Tor, or a proxy. Do you want to know what happens if you just change the IP address in the packet for the metadata? This is one of the most common tactics used by groups to DDoS web services on the internet. By having the request sent from one device with the fraudulent IP address being the target. Because of this, if a web server is not configured correctly, it will simply accept all of the information incoming and it will be overrun depending on how many requests are being sent towards this. And this is definitely problematic. But if you're still getting your data back and you're not using a VPN Tor or a proxy, what's actually happening is a false sense of security, a false sense of anonymity. So to the person that was asking if they were still anonymous, do yourself a favor and uninstall that. There are plenty of very inexpensive and even free options that will do a much better job. Just make sure that it's either a VPN, Tor, or a proxy. And the most popular version of technology that will be the simplest for you to install is a VPN, Virtual Private Network. Get that instead. Don't fall for any of the tricks. And depending on your device, you may want to scan your device for any malware or viruses, just to be on the safe side. And change all your passwords, just to be safe. Now, like this episode if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those that you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, Email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website, tqaweekly.com, where you can see the show notes on this episode, past others, find other ways of subscribing, and of course, use the contact form to email me directly. And if you want to see me play video games, you can watch me play video games every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern. I am currently playing Assassin's Creed Origin. Yes, we're going back in time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.